ICE vehicles and EVs are just alike. The electric vehicle revolution, a journey parallel to the development of gasoline cars. The automotive industry is experiencing a profound transformation with a shift from internal combustion engine, ICE vehicles, to electric vehicles, EVs. As with any new technology, there are skeptics, challenges, and growing pains. However, if we look back to the early days of the gasoline-powered car, we can find striking similarities to the EV development path. Just as gasoline cars face hurdles in refueling, extended driving range, and building a nationwide network of refueling stations, the electric car is going through its own parallel evolution. The battery race. Today, electric equivalent of gasoline development. Yes, guys, gasoline was not always around. In the early 20th century, gasoline was not widely available. High performance fuel we know today. It took years of refinement to develop gasoline that provided the efficiency and energy density needed to power cars over long distance. Early gasoline cars had limited range and required frequent refueling stops, forcing drivers to carry a spare fuel, that's dangerous, or seek out a few stores or garages that sold it. You want to pick up your gas from the garage? <laughs> Similar. Today's electric vehicles face challenge of improving battery technology. Current EV batteries provide a limited range compared to gasoline powered cars, with most models offering between 200 to 400 miles on a single charge. However, just as gasoline fuel went through stages of refinement, EV batteries are improving rapidly. Companies are investing heavily in developing more energy dense, faster charging and longer lasting batteries. Solid state batteries, for instance, promise to extend range significantly and charge faster than today's lithium ion batteries, mirroring the evolution of gas, Olean. Gasolina was not always good. Charging stations echoes of early gasoline infrastructure. It was the same guys in early days of ice car, Gasoline stations were few and far between before the rise of dedicated gasoline stations. And I want to add to you that the gasoline station wasn't created until 1905 and then cars were mass produced in 1888. Now let's go. Now the purchase of gasoline was from general stores, farms, and blacksmith shops. The convenience of modern gas stations was unimaginable to those pioneers who had to go through their own refueling. Fast forward to today, the electric vehicle owners face similar challenges with charging infrastructure. Charging stations, while growing in numbers, are still not as ambiguous as gas stations. Early EV adopters frequently charge their vehicles at home, waiting several hours for a full charge or stop at a charging station for extended periods, much like how early gasoline car owners had to plan trips carefully and refuel at fuel available sources. However, just as the development of gasoline stations created the convenience we now take for granted, an extensive EV charger network is being built across the U.S. and around the world. In the U.S. alone, initiatives such as the bipartisan infrastructure law aim to build thousands of new charging stations, enabling drivers to travel long distances without fear of running out of power much like the proliferation of gas stations in the 20th century. The charging infrastructure of the 21st century is on the verge of reaching a tipping point. Let's talk about this next. Early adopters, pioneers then and now. The experience of early ICE vehicle owners closely mirrors that of early EV adopters. In the early 1900s, owning a car was a novelty and people often had to travel long distance or wait to refuel. Gasoline wasn't accessible or as cheap, making owning a car an inconvenience for many. People doubted whether these vehicles could truly replace the reliable horse, which had been the primary mode of transportation for centuries. Today, early EV owners face similar inconveniences. They often charge at home as we spoke about, right? Waiting hours for charging or planning trips around availability of charging stations. Just as early gasoline car owners were willing to endure these hardships, believing in the future of automotive technology. EV owners today understand that these are just temporary issues. 
They know that the growing pains are a part of a larger journey towards the future of transportation. Now let's move into the development phase. History repeats itself. Internal combustion engine vehicles were not an overnight success as you normies think it was. <laughs> In the issues that seemed insurmountable at the time, fuel accessibility, reliability, safety, and range were eventually resolved through innovation, investment, and time. The same is true for electric vehicles today. People cite range anxiety or charging infrastructure and the cost of EVs as a reason why electric vehicles won't work, just as early doubters believed the gasoline cars would never be a viable replacement for the good old horse. The skepticism surrounding new technology is nothing new. People doubt whether cars could replace the horse-drawn carriage, and yet today automobiles are essential to modern life. Similarly, the issues facing EVs are not permanent, roadblocks, but temporary challenges that innovation will overcome. Just like gasoline-powered cars, electric vehicles are in their development phase. In a few decades, today's doubts will seem as misplaced as skepticism surrounding early automobiles. The road to electrification may have its bumps, but as history shows, the future of transportation is always built on innovation and a belief in what's possible. On the next one, everyone hates Tesla.